the market is heating now of space technologies. What can we expect from Kazakhstan in the next decade? More private investments, more private products and services with the less involvement of the government. Like the Silicon the, Valley of yeah, Kazakhstan? Yeah, like a, when the startups are growing to the big companies, bringing a lot of value to the economy. Why should foreign investors come to Kazakhstan? Tremendous growth for them. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Malik Oljhabakov a key figure in Kazakhstan's tech and aerospace world. His academic foundation is diverse, with degrees in business administration from Kaimep University, law from Kazakh National University, and public administration from Nazarbayev University. Malik started his career in 2010 at the Republican Center for Space Communications and quickly climbed up the ranks, taking on leadership roles by 2012. From 2017 to 2021, he served as Deputy Chairman of the Aerospace Committee, working under two different ministries, culminating in his appointment as Vice Minister of Digital Development, Innovations and Aerospace Industry in September 2021. Olzebekov's career reflects his dedication to advancing Kazakhstan's position in the global aerospace and digital sectors. Hello, Malik. Hi. Welcome to... Baku, welcome to the IEC 2023. Uh, I assume this is your first time as you are attending the Congress? Yes, this is my first time and the first time in Baku. Wow, beautiful. I know that you are coming from Kazakhstan. Have you noticed maybe any cultural similarities with Kazakhstan? Yeah, I mean, first of all, the, the Baku itself, it uh, seems like very close to, I mean, the, the way the people here behave, they are very friendly. It's reminds me my, I mean, your home homeland. country actually, right? Yeah, the Almaty. So, I mean, the, uh, here is in Baku, it's like a concentration of uh, some, the cultural, I mean, beauty. So I do like Baku and a lot of similarities because we are both uh, Kazakh and Azerbaijan. We are Turkic countries and we have a lot of uh, similarities in, in food, in culture, in traditions. So that's why it's very close to us. I mean, Absolutely. Um, could you maybe prov provide some insights into your present role as the vice minister of digital development, innovation, and aerospace sector. I'm responsible for the aerospace industry development in Kazakhstan. I was growing from the position from aerospace committee. I was working as the deputy chairman of aerospace committee. Now I'm just moved to the position of vice minister, but uh, my role actually um, in the same direction. I'm working with the, within the aerospace field. So it's already been a bit more than two years in the same position. Could you shed some light maybe on the current projects that you are working within the scope of work of your role? Yeah, I mean, we're doing our job in, in a several directions. Um, mostly them are, as usual, I mean, in, in a field of uh, development of Earth observation uh, system and services based on, on this. Uh, the satellite communication system we have our own and we are thinking about developing the system and providing the value added services. Um, the, the interesting thing is also the, um, uh, support of R and D. Here we are focused more on developing the critically important technologies, um, to develop uh, our own satellite industry, satellite manufacturing industry. And we also think that, which is very important to have a sustainable industry, aerospace industry, is to have our own launch vehicle. So we, um, uh, we started our work to develop some separate technologies towards having um, the ultra light class launch vehicle in, in, in Kazakhstan to launch the small satellites we manufacture and the uh, in i would like just highlight some 
interesting projects in uh, Earth observation we done since we've uh, unified with the digital um, and innovation sector in Kazakhstan within one ministry. So the idea was to bring closer the space technologies, I mean, the space images to the day-to-day life of, of uh, Kazakhstan citizens. And this gap we've actually fulfilled with some IT developments, uh, developed platforms that provide end-to-end services to the business related uh, in some specific industries. Just an example, we've developed a platform minerals.gov.kz uh, that provides the uh, investors and the mining companies access to the geological information, more than 60 layers of uh, the uh, geospatial data that makes them planning their work more carefully. And the other important thing, we've actually automate, uh, digitalized and automate, uh, I mean, made it more automatic way to interact between business and government. So it's one of the, um, I mean, important projects we're doing on, on, and the same approach we're willing to uh, do at the agricultural sector and uh, any other sectors of economy that dealing with geospatial information. How do you believe space technology can impact everyday people's life? Almost everyone is using the smartphone. And the smartphone provides you the uh, services that based on space technologies, like uh, the mapping, like the satellite navigation, satellite communication. Because the uh, in a countries like Kazakhstan, uh, we built the satellite backhaul to the base station uh, and the last mile, we provide the mobile communication through the last mile 4G and 5G technologies. So it became like uh, everyday life of every citizen, Necessity. every human. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this this is like uh, everyday's necessity. You You just cannot skip that. And that's why it pushed demand uh, upwards. So, I mean, the market is hitting now of space technologies. What innovation throughout your journey as the vice minister uh, of digital development and innovation and aerospace sector are you most proud of? Maybe you can share some achievements that uh, you reached. Yeah, I mean... I was mentioning the um, the, the unified platform for subsoil users, mining companies. Uh, the important thing here, um, even being just the usual platform, it makes some a crucial changes and within the industry. I mean, the, within the mining industry, because previously it used to be like a, a lot of paperwork, a lot of bureaucracy. Uh, not uh, not well transparent. I mean, now it's with the help of digital technologies, space technologies, we actually uh, did a project that helped uh, interact in a transparent way the business, I mean, the, um, the mining companies and and agencies now they can apply for having the license in in a digital format and receive the license in a digital format and the uh, the agencies actually uh, can control the activities of the mining companies without necessity to contact the companies itself so with the help of the satellite images they can see if they are uh, doing their work within the provided territory, within the um, type of the work. So it, it helps to both the business and the governmental agencies. And the other important, uh, I mean, innovations we are trying to um, use is also based on the space technologies. I mean, uh, we have the other important thing about the water um resource, I mean, efficiency of water consumption in Kazakhstan. It's more than 
80% of the fresh water we use in Kazakhstan for irrigation of the agricultural crop. And the space technologies helps us to assess, I mean, how well the farmers use, how effective they use uh, the water resources, because it's one of the most cursed resources we, we have in our region. So with the help of satellite technology, we can assess on the level of each land plot uh, how effective farmer use. Then just um, you can actually compare and comply this data with other digital data uh, to assess the economic value of uh, the farmers provide. And it's very helpful for decision makers and uh, this is also one one of the important uh, innovative projects we're working on. Uh, what are your primary objectives and ambitions as a vice president, uh, vice minister, <laughs> not yet, <laughs> <laughs> as a vice minister um, in digital development and innovations and aerospace? The the primary goals is to make uh, I mean changes some important changes in in related industries. I do believe we can do the uh, I mean complex satellite projects uh, more commercial attractive. We can do the market uh, commercial attractive and uh, bring the private investors so that it would, it it. At the end, it will become more sustainable and government will just keep the regulation, I mean, to help the uh, private sector, uh, I mean, grow the technologies, rise the market. And with, I mean, at the end, it should be like uh, more private investments, more private products and services with the less involvement of the government. I'm actually very glad that uh, you mentioned the private sector since yeah. currently globally uh, the private space sector is really booming and uh, yeah. it's great to hear that there are some ambitions uh, in Kazakhstan on that as well. Um, and I'm actually curious, do you have any maybe incubators or accelerator programs for startups uh, that you would want them to be involved in the space sector or digital development sector in Kazakhstan? Yeah, it's it's very important question because uh, the idea came up several years ago about having like incubator accelerating programs to the startups. Since worldwide, uh, there there is a successful case when the startups are growing to the big companies, bringing a lot of value to the economy. So uh, we already have. Uh, the Astana IT hub, like um, like the Silicon the, Valley of yeah, Kazakhstan, yeah, like the Valley of? of Kazakhstan to grow the startups, primarily on the IT sector, the the digital development, and so on. But based on that uh, success story, we brought like a small branch of Space Tech Hub, like a small seed there, and we're trying to grow it now with giving the task from from the government, like. Uh, in this case, we support um, growing new startups by, by being a customer for new technologies in Earth observation system and satellite manufacturing, satellite navigation. This is just the beginning, and we hope that uh, this branch will rise and become the same size and value as the Astana IT Hub. Right. Um, you've mentioned the importance of investment uh, in this sector. Are you primarily looking for investors uh, within the Kazakhstan or also for international ones? We primarily are looking for the private investors because yesterday we spoke during the session about the um, import importance of the role of the government. And um, we see that we can shift, I mean, within the Kazakhstan. We actually were investing for the past 10 and a half decade, decades, uh, more than, let, let's say, about 1 billion US dollars. 
as a capex. So we want to shift from that model to more like a service model to apex model. We don't want to invest in the project. We we're willing to buy the end product. So it gives the room for the investors here. It might be a Kazakh uh, investor from Kazakhstan. It might be the foreign investor. Um, the important thing is just to bring more room to the investors providing sustainable, I mean, consumption of their services. And uh, I mean, we always welcome any other foreign companies to invest in our project. Do you see any challenges uh, concerning the innovation development in Kazakhstan? It's usual, uh, I mean, for, for any other countries, challenging is to find maybe right incentives, companies, to take the risk and invest in, in something risky and innovative. So this is challenging for us, to find the right incentives by the regulations and limits we have. Are you looking for any collaborations uh, with other countries uh, in this domain? And if so, what would be the, let's say, top three countries that would might be interesting for you? For sure, we are, we are looking collaborations because uh, space technologies and projects within the, I mean, space industry are very costly. So sharing the costs with other partners, countries, is, uh, I mean, it's win-win for, for both, I mean, who is participating. And we do have an initiative to, to build the, um, the satellite constellation. Uh, it could be both, I mean, this, the communication satellites, because having uh, a one satellite per one country is now kind of costly and makes us less competitive in the market. And the same is Earth observation. Having more satellites makes the uh, companies more competitive in the orbit. So, I mean, that's way um, we can just share the, the satellites within one constellation with other countries. We do have the initiative and we don't just build the constellation itself. We built the full um, ecosystem with the um, front platform, with the, uh, I mean, knowledge we have and the value-added services. So we're calling the other partners, partnering countries, to join that initiative and join not only the constellation but ecosystem because we do provide the IT uh, part of the platform uh, we do provide the education and i just don't want to limit the the uh, the countries we are focused on we are calling the regional countries the uh, our neighboring partners but we're open to any other countries in them globally in terms in terms of innovation what can we expect from kazakhstan in the next decade Tremendous growth, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we actually targeting to, I mean, if, if, if we're speaking about the aerospace uh, innovations in aerospace field, we are, I mean, targeting to grow the critical important um, Technologies and satellite control materials, um, and and the ground infrastructure, the IT part, because we are willing to have the, um, I mean, the software that will process most of the images, just right on the board of the satellite. So then it will help us to provide uh, some good value added and unique services on the market. We believe that it will change the way it works uh, in the market. I mean, that approach is very important and we believe that within three to five years, you will see the uh, significant results in that. And my last question, why should foreign investors 
come to Kazakhstan? Uh, because the the market we are actually uh, growing Kazakhstan is very, uh, in terms of regulatory, is very friendly. We provide uh, very comfort. Uh, I mean, comfortable environment in Kazakhstan, and we're flexible in terms of regulation to the new coming and emerging industries. So I think that uh, being flexible, uh, providing good incentives, and providing like sustainable consumption from the government is very helpful to the startups and new investors. And we're open to discuss any other new conditions for the uh, specifically for the aerospace uh, related companies in Kazakhstan based on the um, uh, space tech hub I mentioned. Thank you very much, Malik. It yeah, was a pleasure. You. Yeah. Thank you very much.